Hey there guys, how's it going? So I'm back with another movie review. So yeah, we just got back from the theatre, went to see the movie Joker, which um, I believe came out here yesterday. I believe it was released in the States earlier, but yeah, over here it came out yesterday. And um, yeah, it was in a packed theatre. And the reason why I ultimately went to see this movie, and I'm kind of having a deja vu here. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird, funny situation I find myself in, because you guys might recall a couple of weeks ago, I decided to go and see Rambo, Last Blood, and I did my review for that movie. And I told you guys in my review that the reason why I ultimately went to see that movie, because I wasn't going to initially, is because of the negative press that the movie got, and because of the way that the critics, you know, bitched and moaned about it, and attacked it mercilessly, and, you know, told everybody how misogynistic it was, and how, how violent it was, and how nobody should see it, you know, that enticed me to go and see that movie, and I, I said in that review, I have to really thank Rotten Tomatoes and the, and the biased liberal mainstream media for shitting on the movie so much, because I really enjoyed the movie, I thought it was awesome. And I find myself in the exact same situation here, complete deja vu. I was not going to see this movie. I thought that the Joker movie, from the second I heard about it, I thought it was a bad idea. Um, I never liked the idea of making a solo Joker movie. You know, I've always liked, um, you know, I've always liked the Joker as part of the uh, the Batman universe. I've always liked him as a villain. He's one of my favorite Batman villains, and. Um, yeah, he's kind of the, um, you know, he really stands out as a, as a villain to Batman because he's basically the complete opposite to Batman. And I've always kind of liked that dynamic that the two of them have. But, you know, the, the hero or villain side of things, I, I didn't really think would... I didn't really think it would carry well over to a solo movie for the character. I hold my hands up. I was wrong. This movie is really, really good. I really enjoyed it. And I, I, I do not, for the life of me, understand the criticism i mean now now a lot of people seem to like the movie I, i've seen on social media a lot of people are disagreeing with the critics and a lot of people are saying they really did enjoy it and um the controversy that, that is oh, I, I say that in in quotations controversy that's been surrounding about the movie and the reason why the critics have been bitching and moaning about it and the reason why it's gotten some negative press is because they're talking about the movie, um, you know, inspiring violence. They're saying that <laughs> that the the character of the Joker is going to inspire white incels to 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 take up arms and start shooting up cinema screenings and stuff like that. And I mean, it, it just goes to show you how absolutely pathetic and how absolutely deranged the popular you know mainstream media has become i mean this this culture of just being absolutely you know having to politicize everything and and please keep that shit out of this movie because this movie will not inspire violence okay i mean if if you were to use that logic to say that this movie is going to inspire violence and it's going to inspire people to to shoot up a school or whatever you, you could say that about any movie or any movie that depicts any sort of violence whatsoever, or any sort of um, you know gun use and stuff like that, you, you, you could you could apply that same logic to any movie. So please drop that shit, okay? So I'm not going to say any more about that. I'm just going to talk about the movie. That, that those are just some of the absolute ridiculousness that have been in the press and the media surrounding the movie. This movie is really good, and where this movie ex where this movie succeeded for me, and where this movie was at its best was in its depiction of mental illness. That's a big theme that's explored in this movie. It's the theme of mental illness and dealing with mental illness and how society reacts to it and how everyday life, like work and like social situations and, and family and stuff like that, can all have a... as well as like past experiences and past childhood trauma and stuff like that, how it can all sort of blend together and create demons and create deep deep psychological problems in a human being you know, real psychological issues that a lot of people don't talk about that's what's on display in this movie and what this movie really is is because it's not it's not a traditional comic book movie you know this isn't an action movie this isn't even really a drama i would say that this movie is a clear depiction of one man's descent into absolute madness this character the joker played by Joaquin phoenix in this movie and i've never even been a big fan of Joaquin phoenix I've, I've always thought he was kind of overrated but the way that he depicts this character i've got to say was really really impressive he generally comes across as a deeply disturbed yet 
good-natured individual. He's not a character that you hate. From very early on in this movie, he comes across as a very, um, you know, well-mannered and soft-spoken guy. Like, he works as a clown, you know, he entertains people, he advertises, he does stuff like that. And there's a scene in the movie very early on, which initially I thought was a little bit corny and weird. It's a scene where he's sort of... Um, it was seen in the trailer, like he was holding a sign and he's dressed as a clown and he's dancing and he's advertising a store and a group of chavs basically run past him and steal his sign and he chases after them and it's unclear why he chases after them because you think it's just a sign, forget about it, but he goes after these kids and he gets the absolute shit kicked out of him. You know, they, they break the sign over his head, they kick him on the ground and stuff like that and it's it's a really sad scene, you're watching it and you're thinking, oh that's that's kind of that's kind of sad that's heartbreaking but it just goes to show you like like who the character is like this is it, it's kind of a statement that this is something he has to deal with every day like he's living in a in a city and in a community that is just descending into madness along with him like all he sees is crime all he sees is people yelling at each other people insulting one another you know people just um, showing the absolute worst of human nature and all he's trying to do is get by in life. He's just trying to be a good person. He's trying to take care of his mother because he lives with his mother. And, you know, he's um, he's taking care of her. She's crippled. And he's trying to work and, and support her at the same time. And th there's even a, a scene in the movie, which I thought was quite strange, but, but powerful in a way, where he, he imagines himself being on a talk show. And they ask him where he lives. And he's like, oh, I live right here in town. And I live with my mother. And then everybody basically laughs at him in the crowd. He laughs at him because he lives with his mother. And then he's like, well, my, my mother's not well. I, I take care of her. And then all of a sudden, everybody's, oh, you know, they, 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 you know, they change immediately as soon as they get a little bit more context. And it just goes to show you how, like, judgmental people can be and stuff like that. And it's, I just, I thought this movie was, was in a way, really beautiful. I do. I thought it was a very, very good depiction of you know, what society is like and how society views, like, mental people and stuff like that. And, and not only that, but also how the media puts these type of people on a pedestal in the wrong way. Like, for example, there's a, a scene in the movie, I, w I won't spoil what happens, but basically um, the, the, the Joker kills somebody in self-defense. He, he kills a few people in self-defense, um, you know, because he, he has a gun and, and he's on the subway and whatnot. And, and basically what happens is, the media reports it, but rather than just report it as a as a, a murder, you know, or just a, a regular run of the mill murder, like a tragedy, something that happened, the media makes it into a political issue. You know, they talk about this clown who killed these people, and 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 they try, they, they basically make a, a martyr of him and make a make a political statement of him, and then everybody in the community, all the poor people and all the people who see themselves as oppressed and see themselves as you know the the political underclass they start putting him on a pedestal and they start you know using him as their symbol for a revolution and it, again it goes to show you without getting too political it goes to show you how the media contributes to stuff like that like when people commit you know mass killings and stuff like that and then the media obsesses over them and 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 creates copycat killers and stuff like that it, it was a very very um realistic depiction of it that's one thing i will say as far as the way this movie looks, um, Joaquin Phoenix is emaciated in this movie. Like he really did look the part. Like he looks skinny. He looks, um, you know, even even his face and his in his whole body, he looks really run down and really miserable and worn out. Um, you know, you can see it in his face. The scenes where he's trying to to smile and he's trying to laugh and he just he can't seem to bring himself to do it because he is that broken and that miserable and just dead inside. That, you know, he, he feels as if he has nothing to live for, but, you know, his his mother and everybody around him, because of his job, obviously, he works as a clown, you know, everybody around him is constantly telling him to smile, constantly telling him to laugh, and he, he, he shows in this movie, too, signs of some severe, like, if you've ever known anybody who has, like, OCD or, um, or Tourette's or something like that, you know, where they, whenever they get stressed and nervous, they end up ticking, and he has a thing where he breaks into like an uncontrollable laughter and it happens in situations where he's very um, nervous like there's a scene where he's on the stage and he has to do stand-up comedy but then the nerves take over him and he just can't stop laughing and people laugh at him because it's like oh, this guy has got a funny laugh and you know he, he he's on a bus and, and and there's a there's a child staring at him and, and children do tend to stare at people when they look a bit you know unusual 
and he he makes faces at this child and then the mother has a go at him and then again he starts breaking out into laughter he doesn't know what else to do again the, the guys the guys he's mentally ill he's disturbed you know he when he gets nervous he starts to tick and he doesn't really know how to control it or how to you know find a you know a way to focus that energy and and and, and focus his you know goals in life and stuff like that and i just thought this was a really really entertaining movie it was really really well acted all across the board you got people like you you got robert de niro in the movie he plays the um, the talk show host that 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 role really could have been played by anybody but i thought that Joaquin Phoenix played a really, really convincing Joker, uh, particularly, like I say, in, in the later scenes in the movie where it starts to get really trippy and, and there starts to be a lot of like real enigmatic stuff going on. Like there's a lot of callbacks to the comics. Like there's, there's a scene in particular where Joker says, you know, I've, I've just had a bad day. Like he makes a, a sick joke about somebody getting run over. And then he says, oh, I've had a bad day. And, and that's a reference, of course, to the comics, to, to one bad day. Um, and and um, yeah, it's a reference to that. And and also there's there's other references like, in the comics, the Joker often refers to his origin, but he's never he never tells a a, a full story. Like he never tells a straight answer. You know, he, he's always sort of romanticizing it and making things up. And you can never really know when he's being honest. Like you never know what his origin is. Like it's very mysterious. And it's sort of explained in this movie that the Joker has a um, delusional narcissistic type of personality where he will make up scenarios in his head like he sees things that aren't there he experiences things that didn't happen and that sort of ties into the comics about how the joker is because the joker will give you different versions of how he became the joker like in the dark knight movie where he's like you know how i got these scars and he tells you a different story every time about how he got the scars the guy is a delusional psychopath and, and, and it's really, really well acted here. It's really, really well developed. The character development from start to finish is fantastic. In the beginning of the movie, he is extremely likable and extremely awkward. Towards the end of the movie, he gets extremely sinister. He becomes a very intimidating character. And although he's intimidating, he has that same charm that the that the Joker has in the comics and, and in the animated series and whatnot, where even though he's doing fucked up shit, you just can't help but smile. You can't help but laugh. He, he's a very, very, um, very charismatic and entertaining character. And that's what makes him so unique, makes him so unique as a villain. And this movie was really good. I really enjoyed it. it you know, a few negatives with it. I guess there's a, a couple of um, little subplots, which I guess didn't need to be there. Like, um, I won't really get into it. I don't really want to spoil any of the movie because there's a few twists and turns along the way. A couple of things that I didn't think needed to be there. The movie could have been maybe been a tad bit shorter, but nonetheless, I enjoyed the movie. I would give this movie a solid... I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. Um, you, you guys know me. When I go and see a movie, I, I like to see a bit more action. And um, I just think that... The, the movie could have had more graphic violence. I know that, you know, people are criticising the movie for, for its graphic violence. I personally thought there could have been more. I thought there could have been more, like, real standout, like, psychopathic moments. Like, th there's one scene where he stabs a guy, and, you know, that scene was pretty graphic. A lot of the people sitting near me in the cinema gasped. I didn't gasp. It was nothing I haven't seen before. But, uh, you know, there could have been a few more scenes like that. A few more scenes which really put you on edge and think, whoa, this, this, you don't mess with this guy. Like, there could have been a, a, a couple more scenes like that. But I'd give this movie a very solid 8 out of 10. I think this is a very good movie. Let me know what you guys think anyway. Um, uh, did you guys enjoy this movie? Personally, I, I was really surprised by how much I liked it. So... Let me know what you guys think anyway. Thanks for watching and yeah, God bless.